Hello everybody, welcome back to another Immortal Jellyfish video. In today's video, we're going to be covering the free Bee Creeper Bed Wars update and going through the patch notes and reading all about what's all changed with the game uh, as of this update, and then uh, then we'll talk about it. I'm going to give my opinions on it. That said, you do need to make sure to like and subscribe this on this video because if you don't you're gonna end up with a girlfriend that looks like this in life and you don't want that so anyways with that said let's hop into the patch notes so starting off the patch notes it says natural disasters plus free beekeeper natural disasters limited time mode the classic bed wars game but with crazy natural disasters happening throughout the match i'm guessing this is kind of a throwback at the natural survive natural disasters game or whatever on bed uh, on roblox that's been super popular uh but now kind of crazy spun in with uh with bed wars i'm kind of curious to see how this works it could be a pretty interesting pretty fun game mode uh it says tornadoes meteors toxic rain and rising void so i'm gonna guess you're gonna have to build up cover your head with stuff meteors probably just gonna blast you and tornadoes you're probably just gonna have to run from note for custom matches you can manually trigger disasters by typing slash disaster meteors void rise toxic rain or tornado example slash disaster meteor so if you want to do that in custom games you most certainly can lucky block 30 v 30 30 v 30 has been now replaced by lucky block 30 v 30 for this week only i don't like lucky block but maybe the chaos of 30 v 30 with lucky block could be pretty pretty interesting I'll have to make sure to check that out. Spirit Baker Skin. A new Baker Skin has been added to the Battle Pass. Unlock the Spirit Baker at level 40. We'll take a look at that. Actually, we'll take a look at that right now. Let's hop in the Battle Pass. Let's look at this. I should already have it because I maxed my Battle Pass out. Oh, it's going to be in the paid track. All right. So if you paid for the Battle Pass, you will get this skin. I'll make sure to do a showcase on this after this video. So if you do want to see the showcase of this, make sure to like and subscribe for that as well. And then let's hop back into those patch notes and let's finish up this video. So we got free kits this week. We got Beekeeper, first time being free, which is super big. Uh, this broke Beekeeper last time they did it. I'm interested to see how this goes this time. Also, this is the first time seeing a Battle Pass kit uh, free for everybody to use. So this will be interesting to see how this goes over with the players. I know last time it spiked up a lot of drama of people being like, these are supposed to be limited. People aren't supposed to have these and stuff. So I don't know. I honestly, I don't care. I think after battle passes end, people should like be able to buy the kits or something just, just so everybody has the option to have the kits. Cause how are you going to have a fair PVP game with exclusive kits that people can't have? So, uh, and then we got barbarian, which is super good. And Lassie, which is one of the kits that I think needs change balance changes. Buffed arrow velocity by 25%. Not sure why we're buffing arrows. Um, seems kind of silly to me. Arrows and bows in general are still in a uh, a good spot. I mean, they just buffed the tactical bow on Archer, and now they're buffing arrow velocity. I mean, th that bow is literally just going to be a laser, and you're just... I don't know. It's, it's already bad. Like, it does 25 damage to you in Iron Armor, so... Um, yeah, this is not something I like considering that tactical bows and archer are already super good. Uh, maybe I'll have to make a video on that because I think bows are really coming back to be like the top tier meta play now. I think bow spamming is coming back real hard again, uh, despite them saying that's not what they're doing. It, I, I, I don't know. Am I crazy? They just keep buffing bows and bow kits. Um, am I, I, maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, other words, we got Yuzi increased cost of Deo swords. So, Yuzi's swords are going to cost more now? I don't like that it doesn't really tell me what the costs are of those swords. It just says increased cost of Deo swords. So, Yuzi's swords are going to cost more now? That that could prove to be a massive issue for Yuzi players. Just because now getting his sword is going to be a little bit more expensive for you, it, it would seem. I'm going to have to check that out. I'm not sure what's changed with that because I didn't document it very well. Um, Jade nerfed hammer cooldown, so now Jade's hammer is 5 to 6 seconds. All I could say is that if they put made it a second longer, can they, can they please add a cooldown bar? Void Region has had a cooldown bar. There's no reason that they can't be making changes to Jade and not add a cooldown bar. I really hope there's a cooldown bar to this now. Uh, Jade reduced jump distance, so Jade doesn't jump nearly as far now, and it's a longer cooldown. Uh, Void Regent, the same thing. Nerfing his leap time every time he can use his axe and nerfing that distance by almost half. This is almost half. This is almost 40%. That's insane. These kids are... They took away their telepearls and now they're taking away their leap distance and making their cooldowns longer. I'm not sure how long these, these movement kits are going to be viable. It seems like 
Bed Wars is on a mission to destroy them right now? I'm not sure. These are these percentages might be too big in my opinion. This nerf distance. The distance is one thing, like one second, you know, that kind of sucks, but you could get around that. But not having telepearls and then making the distance super short, because it's almost like I said, it's almost 40%. That's almost half. So this is insane. Uh spirit catcher nerf as well. Nerf spirit damage from 25 to 17. I'm not sure Spirit Catcher is going to be as destructive now. This Normally, if you have like two Spirit Catchers, people can't get your bed at all. Uh, but with this damage nerf with decent armor, you probably could puncture through and uh, tank all those Spirits and then still get the bed. So I'll be interested to see how the Spirit Catcher one works. This seems like maybe reasonable for Spirit Catcher. Because you got to remember, those Spirits are 35 iron. So this seems reasonable. Um, these nerfs for Void and Jade... I think a lot of people who don't have these kits are going to be happy, but I think people who do play these and main these a lot are going to be very disappointed in these kits. They've lost so much in in Season 4 now. Uh, other changes... Uh, oh wait, there it is. Jade added a hammer cooldown bar. Nice. We get a cooldown bar. It only took three seasons to get a cooldown bar. <laughs> Must have been hard to build. Uh, removed bananas, so they. I th hopefully all of Banana Wars is gone. Maybe, um, maybe, huh, they removed bananas, but did they remove all bananas and frying pans and stuff, or frying pans still in the game? I'm not sure. It doesn't say anything about removing frying pans, so let me know if they're in the game still when you get in the game. Uh, more on free beekeeper. This is the first time we've added a battle pass kit to the free kit rotation. We weren't happy spending lots of time making great battle pass kits, only for them to fade out of popularity over time. While we will never make battle pass kits purchasable again we think periodically adding them into the free kit rotation is a good way to justify spending more time making great battle pass kits see I, I like what they said here but i don't like it because i really am anti the exclusivity but they already set it up that way they said these will never be purchasable and they've said that since day one so they're keeping to that but they want to rotate them in free weeks so they're slowly working towards that but honestly i just like to see that where any kit could be played because i think about it like league of legends and that'd be like oh you didn't play back in season one so you don't get these champions but now this champion's really broken and that's what's happening with kits certain kits that are old are getting really strong with changes in bed wars and then nobody's allowed to play them and that to me is kind of messed up but you know it seems like we're somewhat working on that right path with this so I'm excited to see this uh overall though this update seems pretty big for balance wise uh, a lot of different changes there uh this is a big deal free free battle pass stuff coming to the show the the limelight uh a baker skin not really that big important and new limited time mode so yeah should be a should be a pretty spicy week for stuff to do that said there's one major thing i'm very disappointed not to see in here and that's that the bed wars developers still haven't come out and said anything about all the scripters or do anything with anti-cheat yet the only thing i know of personally is in a dv video they said they're working on something big for anti-cheat but they haven't come out and told anybody that they're actually working on anti-cheat themselves. Uh, and so I'm kind of disappointed in that. This is like three weeks into season four. Uh, the scripters are destroying ranked matches. They're destroying every game mode. I, I really think the script issue is a big deal, especially since they're trying to say ranked is a finalized product. But um, they're just letting the scripters run rampant in it. So anyways, that is going to wrap up this video. I don't think there's much else to talk about in this uh, this update video. It was it was a pretty interesting update though. I will say that for sure. Uh, that it wasn't wasn't a bad update. It had a uh, had a lot to it. Um, I'm interested to see how the balance changes work over. Uh, but on that note, let's thank our YouTube members and let's wrap up this video. <laughs> this video. Thank you, Mama Peace. Thank you, Redwood Deadwood. Thank you, Easter Axolotl. Thank you, A9 Gaming. Thank you, Darkest Troller. Thank you, Finally Cringe. Thank you, Giftogen. And thank you, Epic Gaming. There's a lot of members now. The most members we've ever had. So big. Woo! Yeah, baby. Uh, that's super awesome. Uh, thank you all so much for being members of the channel. I've, I honestly never expected to have this many members. Uh, but I do appreciate every single one of you, so thank you so much. And on that note, I'll see you all in the next video or stream. Peace out.